Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, I would say this is take nine on it. <laughs> uh, as I, I often get off track and go on to some uh, convoluted rant about gold. Uh, everything seems to revolve around gold. Um, but again, I've digressed. This is the annihilation events. Yes, my eyes have not deceived me. Giant Dan Wei is chasing down little people and trying to chop them up. Or he's running with the little people to go to somewhere to chop someone else up. Uh, it's, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this looks like a Chow Chow event. Uh, if you play Dynasty Heroes, you'll be familiar with it. So, <clears throat> let's jump in. Every day looks like it is very similar to uh, the a limited hero event. You get them from your participation. You get three a day. So you get five, five free a day. Um, you can probably store these up like the other one. You can also purchase them from gold and recharge. Um, so I was thinking about this from a whale perspective. Uh, I, I like to be a smart whale. Um, if you're a smart whale, this is just a tip for you. Uh, don't blow your load on events like the Kraken, <laughs> the old mate. Well, I don't want to call it the Kraken, the Kark, the Kakardan event, uh, day one, uh, because the game has historically, in my opinion, um, given lots of coinciding events to go along with it. So you've got your main event, your celebrate event, and then they'd like to throw in these little events. Uh, previously it was the, um, arms race event, and then they had the limited hero event. Uh, like a day after it, and now they've kind of got the annihilation event a day after releasing the other one. So why does that? Why is that important? You might say, "Push! What the hell are you talking about?" It's important because, man, if you're gonna blow your load, if you, you're gonna get your you know balls deep in there, and you you spend thousands of dollars, you are literally missing out on your recharge gift on the coinciding day. Like, unless you're a megalodon and you're happy to throw away you know, tens of thousands of dollars every time an event rolls around for every single event. I mean, go you, you do you. Um, but if you're like me and you're, you're smart with how you spend your money, um, you kind of want to make maximum value. So definitely hold off before you pull the trigger on certain major events. Uh, wait for the little events to fall within that rotation that coincide and then maximize your value. Um, that, that would be my pro tip for, for a lot of players, uh, players, sorry. And, and even just dolphin spenders, like this applies to you 1000% as well, because you want to maximize the amount of resources you can actually accumulate, um, with not spending, you know, doubling up on having, having to spend lots and lots of money to do it. Uh, so that kind of leads me into, what the event itself is about, what do you get, is it worth doing, should I spend gold on it, should I just, you know what I mean, um, you get axes, silver and gold axes, uh, essentially you have a chance to get a gold axe, but it's probably very, very low, uh, as you can see only two people have gotten a gold axe so far, uh, in the prize info, um, but what the good thing is, you, it's kind of like there's a, a, a pity timer, like a mercy rule, so each attack grants an epic shard, uh, a silver axe or a gold axe. Every 20 attacks guarantees at least two silver axe. 760 attacks guarantees 75 silver axe, which can be exchanged for a legendary shard piece. Uh, then you can synthesize it and then you synthesize it and then you will get that legendary item. So you essentially just continue to hoard for this like the chow chow event and dynasty heroes you can just save up your spears in this instance your tokens and then you know blow them all at the same time or you can blow them all every day it's it's it really i don't think it impacts your progress at all just be aware that the shop for annihilation only appears during the event so you know if you're wondering where it went it's it's not there anymore um 75 shards is what you can get and as it says you can exchange silver axes down the bottom for the chest um cool very cool uh it'd be really cool to see if we can get a 
uh, axe, um, a gold axe, uh, I don't know, I don't know, it's, <clears throat> it's gotten to the point in the game where spending gold, you can't spend gold on frivolous acts, so my, my advice to everyone, uh, and I've always maintained this, is, you know, save your gold because it's valuable, buy stamina pills to advance your level, I'm kind of changing that rhetoric a little bit to maybe I'm not buying stamina pills anymore. Like I'm buying my four a day. I'm getting enough stamina from um, just your benefits alone, uh, your SP, your daily food. I do have a subscription, so I'm kind of cheating if you're free to play. I'm sorry. Um, but you get an extra 100 here. Uh, but what, and, and of course, you get from your arena smashes, uh, from your legion smashes. So, you know, there are opportunities to get additional stamina pills. Also, you get them from your mission each day. You get two from there. Um, and if you bought the four, uh, your faith patrol, and if you bought the four other stamina pills, which I do, uh, generally speaking, you get an extra one as well. And I mean, look, they're only, you know, they're only 30 each, right? So it's not too, too bad. You get, get some additional ones. So it kind of... For my from my understanding, after level sixty, you've unlocked the beast. Um, so these boys, uh, and um, yeah, it's you, you kind of you're not grinding towards a goal. Um, the the idea of you you still want to kind of you still want to do your smashes every day. Don't get me wrong, you want to do your blitzes. You want to progress in that sense. Like don't be lazy. Use all your stamina every day. Um, the reason is you, you're level capped by your talent. So eventually I'll hit the cap where I need to be like level 65 or level 70 in order to progress. Um, so there are little things like that. As far as I can see, there's nothing that pops out on the screen that says you must be at this certain level to unlock it. Um, if you're an experienced player and you're higher than level 63, let me know. Is there any other unlocks in the future? I'd be curious to, to know that. And obviously relay that information along in the next video. Um, but from what I can see, there's nothing inherently important about progressing past level 60 at like a massive, uh, massive rate. Like, I mean, I was farming the, the stamina pills to progress to get the beast unlocked. Uh, but now it's kind of slowed down. Um, so now that we kind of freed up with our gold, um, where's the most important aspect of generating gold where, where do we actually get the most amount from before we decide to blow our load on say uh this guy and again this is this is a bit of a gotcha situation where you know there's going to be potentially a beast event which is going to potentially give this guy's currency for completing it right so then is it is it in our best interest to spend 11,000 ignits to get this guy knowing that eventually we're going to get a best a beast event and then we can build him? Um, it really does come down to personal preference and where you're at in the game. If you're early on, I would probably lean away from doing it because there are certainly more events that are coming up that require gold um, and you kind of have more guarantees with spending those gold uh, or that gold towards potentially better items than that. So it, it really does have to weigh into what your current uh, gold count is and where you are in terms of, of gameplay. Uh, for those that are more, you know, been around since server one, you've probably seen the beast event maybe before this, maybe even twice. So you can let us know whether or not you can get the legendary beast shards and how many you can get. Um, I may buy this purely because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I may buy it just because I know I'm probably going to buy some of these packs out because I want to finish out Dao Chan and potentially a divine weapon, um, or legendary weapon, I should say. So I may do that for science, but <laughs> yeah, as for a free to play standpoint, probably, uh, I would not even probably, I'll just say no, don't do it. Save your gold. So if you go for events where you know you're going to get a much higher reward to gold threshold or ratio, uh, for instance, the treasury event, um, the limited hero event, for sure. I mean, you, you you want to work towards saving your tokens and, and hoarding tokens there. Um, 
Also, as you can see, you can buy it out for the Annihilation event if that's your thing. Probably personally not going to do that. I think I'll just happily farm my dailies and every time it rolls around, I might give it a give it a whirl, see if I get lucky. It's not a not on top of my priority list. It is a nice additional for sure, but yeah, like I said, probably not a priority uh, at this point in the game. Um, unfortunately, a lot of these major events, or uh, one of their missions, and I want to cover this real, real quick. Uh, these do reset every day, by the way, so you can do them to your heart's content, uh, every single day, and you can get lots of chicken drumsticks from them. Um, but there is this one here where participate in conquest, and I'll, I'll jump into this because here's the thing, right? Gold generation is so important. This is the best way to generate gold, especially if you're in the best servers on, yeah, basically if you're in the best servers on your guild, first or second best server on your, on your server bracket, best, jeez. Let me start that again. If you're in the best legion on your server bracket or the second best legion on your server bracket, you're gonna you're gonna be able to maximize at least these double and triple mines, okay? And they are you're gonna get two to three thousand a day, depending on if you're nice and safe and snuggled up and nobody comes and attacks you. However, these events, the arms race and this event encourages you to go and farm other guilds, right? It encourages you to. Now, I don't know why these guys from ASTR like to, to attack me. Um, I mean, they started it. I'm, I'm just going in here and killing all their weaker uh, players uh, <laughs> because I, I'm vengeful that way. But, I mean, the reality is, look, if these guys, ASTR, actually want to start a war, they're, they're going to get annihilated, like, there's so many strong players in Beast that would shit on them. Uh, they're, they're highest level dudes. It's just like, why would you Why would you bother, right? I mean, I think their highest is like 135 million. And this dude's nearly a billion. Uh, yeah, let's just put that into perspective there. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is sometimes it's better to take the peaceful option than to be a, a vengeful little shit like me and go and attack them all. The the rewards do not outweigh the risk of it because that one dude will come and fight me every single time when you look at your battle stats. Zach always comes and attacks me. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's just one of those things. Sometimes it's better not to, uh, to try and participate in that item of the event. This is where I'm getting... This is what I'm getting to. Uh, um... The, don't participate in killing people in conquest. That's as far as I'm going to go with it. Some, it's just most of the time it is not worth it. Uh, even if you're on like a really serv strong server bracket, because then you're essentially just starting uh, mind wars for no reason, right? Everyone wants to be peaceful. Nobody wants to wake up in the morning and be in their little freaking refresh mind city, knowing that they've just been railed by some dude that they didn't even meet. You know what I mean? For no apparent reason. And that's why people quit the game. So be mindful with the conquest side of things. Um, probably skip that. That's my personal uh, opinion about that. I've learned myself, you know, when you miss out on 2000 currency a day, because someone came and killed you, you know, it, it hits different. It's it's not as pleasant as it is. Um, but you certainly want to go and, and kill all their members as well. Uh, but we'll resist that. We will resist that. Anyway, I think that pretty much sums up day two of the event for me. I don't... I won't probably recommend to buy out those uh, legendary beast shards. Um, however... Hopefully, uh, hopefully some of you go well with this event. Um, I wonder, will I do a video on that? Probs not. I think I'll just hoard those up. Um, and I'll keep getting some of these on the last day. I'll do some premium recruitment to get some more chicken legs. 
But yeah, I'll leave you with that. Hopefully uh, that was semi-entertaining, semi-knowledgeable. Um, but no, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.